So, you want to jump. Today, we're going to look at how to make our player jump in Unity 6 using physics. We'll go over five types of jumps. A floaty jump, jumping with a gravity multiplier, a faster fallback speed like in Super Mario, jumping an exact height, and finally, a variable jump, where holding down the jump key makes you jump higher. Let's jump in. First, let's set up our scene. We have a player scaled 0.5 on the X, Y, and Z axes with a rigid body and a box collider attached. A ground object that's a cube with a scale of 2, 3, and 100 on X, Y, and Z. For our main camera, I've modified the transform, set the projection to orthographic, and changed the background color to white. Now, create a player jump script and attach it to our player. First, delete any default code in the script. Define a rigid body variable called RB for our player and a jump speed, which we'll set to 10. We're also using Unity's new input system. To set up the input, if we're using a keyboard, we first need the current keyboard attached to the system. So let's define a keyboard type variable. In the awake method, set RB using get component rigid body and set keyboard to the current keyboard. In the update method, let's check if the space key is pressed in this frame. If it is, we'll apply an upward force here. Force mode.impulse makes sure the force is applied instantly rather than over time. When we play, pressing space makes our player jump. But there's an issue. If we press space again while midair, we keep jumping, leading to infinite jumps. We want to make jumping possible only if the player is on the ground. Let's add an ease grounded method that returns a bool. We'll use physics.raycast, which casts a ray down from the player. If it hits something within 1.1 units below, it returns true. Now in our update method, add in an is grounded to the jump condition. This now prevents jumping when the player isn't grounded. It works, but our jump feels a bit floaty. Let's add a gravity multiplier. Set gravity scale to five. In fixed update, add force. This boosts gravity's effect on the player. We use fixed update here because it's called in sync with physics calculations. Now increasing jump speed to 20 gives a much snappier jump. Next, let's create a Mario-style jump where the fall speed is greater than the jump speed. Set falling gravity scale to 30 and declare current gravity scale. In the start method, set current gravity scale to gravity scale. Now, in update, we check the Y component of the player's velocity. If it's zero or greater, set current gravity scale to gravity scale. Otherwise, set it to falling gravity scale. This gives a faster descent, mimicking the feel of a Mario jump. To jump to an exact height, declare jump height as 3F. Calculate the jump force. Now replace jump speed with jump force. This calculation ensures the player reaches exactly the height we specify. For a variable jump, declare max jump time and jump time counter. We'll remove fixed update and jump force from here.
we're using is pressed to continuously check the key state. Now when you play, you can adjust jump height by pressing the key for longer or shorter periods. That's it for today. Let me know if you have questions in the comments, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more Unity tips.